There is new information tonight further sullying the reputation of Army Sergeant and accused deserter Bo Bergdahl. It's a never before heard account of how he landed in the hands of terrorists. Here's Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge. At the height of the Afghan war, an American contractor set up a network of informants to secure the release of a Western journalist. Sometime after midnight on June 30th, 2009, the network came across surprising information about another case, according to a former CIA officer who is speaking publicly for the first time. Uh, an American soldier, along with two or three Afghan soldiers, had been captured. They were using the Pushto word diwana, which in this case meant high on hashish. Initially, Clearage, a 30-year veteran of the CIA who was involved in Iran-Contra, said he had no idea who the soldier was until his informant said Army search teams were calling out an unusual name. The guys downrange wanted to know what was Bo. We were told that the soldier was, was Bo Bergdahl. The unclassified information that Bergdahl was apparently high and held by nomads before being sold to a terrorist network in Pakistan was passed through the proper channels. Retired Lieutenant General David Friedovich, a former senior special operations commander, told Fox it was deemed, quote, credible and highly useful. Asked whether the revelations factored into the White House's decision to swap Bergdahl for the Taliban five, there was no denial. Uh, and I don't want to say anything about that ongoing investigation that may in any way uh, interfere. Bergdahl's military hearing in Texas was pushed back until September. His lawyer declined to answer Fox's questions. Shannon? Catherine, thank you.